Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is Mr. Hernandez, and I am uh, looking at your work for this uh, transformation stuff. <clears throat> and so um, a lot of you were doing really, really well with the reflections, really well with the translations. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is the rotations. So that one's really, really tricky um, just because we use a tool in class we use tracing paper um, you could use even a notebook paper and trace the image and put a point and kind of turn it turn the image around the point and that's a hands-on thing that i realized that um, we didn't really get to uh, practice um, either online or in class so i want to show you a different way of doing it um, using uh, technology so we're going to be looking at geogebra so if you type geogebra.org, you're going to be taken to um, this website. You can start the calculator. It says calculator, but it's actually a graphing type of um, platform. Um, but also you could do um, other things. Um, I think if you get it, you'll, you're going to um, you're going to see maybe a blank. If you have a blank image. Um, so if you put note, so you might see something like this in the beginning. I'm not sure, but if you go to the settings, you could show the axes. Um, you could show the grid. Um, you know, major grid lines is good, and that way you can see um, what we're supposed to be looking at here. Um, so let's look at this one here. Um, I'm gonna plot these three points with GeoGebra. You don't have to put in the um, coordinate like this would be one comma one here for Z. All you got to do is um, go to this uh, geometry tool, click on point, and then put a point at 1-1. One, one. And so you're not going to have the same letters, but it's all good because you're just going to kind of use this as a tool to, um, you know, get the get the uh, rotation done. So one, so the X is at 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up 2. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go right 4 and up 2. And then uh, the Y is at going two to the right and three down. So instead of two comma negative three, I'm just going to go two to the right and three down. So I want to make this into a triangle. In order to do that, I got to go all the way to the bottom. And um, go to more. <clears throat> and if you scroll, oh, here it is, polygon. So you're going to want to click on polygon. And it says select all vertices um, and then the first vertex again. So it's basically saying pick all the points and go all the way around the points all the way to your back again. And then that's going to make a triangle. So that's so now we have a triangle here. And then we're going to rotate it 180 degrees clockwise about the origin. <clears throat> so the GeoGebra will actually do transformations right here. Um, you're gonna have it's gonna be below polygons. So transformations, you can reflect it, um, translate it, and rotate it. So in order to rotate it, it's gonna tell you you need to uh, select an object to rotate and center point. So it says uh, this is the point here, the origin. Um, so the origin is the point zero zero. So before I can even um, rotate it using that tool, I'm gonna have to put the the point there. Okay, so now I'm back to rotate about a point. So again, it says select the object, which is the triangle, and the center point, which is this origin. Um, and then it's going to ask you for um, the the angle of rotation. And so I'm going to click the triangle, click the point. The directions on Geo, uh, Desmos was 180 degrees clockwise. So I'm going to put in 180 degrees and then I could click um, clockwise, and then I'm going to hit enter, and bam. These are going to be your new points. So instead of A, B, and C, you get A prime, B prime, C prime, because that's where it maps onto it. Um, you know, after A is rotated 180 degrees, it's right here. That's why it's called A prime. Same thing for B. After it's rotated 180 degrees, it's over here, B prime, and then same for C and C prime. The only difference is when you, when you draw these points on here, it's going to be X prime y prime and z prime right so but this will actually allow you to say okay this this point should be at negative one one this point should be at 
you know, negative four, negative two, and then this point should be at um, negative two, positive three. So I hope that helps, um, you know, complete this assignment. All right, have a good one.